and freak me out. Jeez, dude. Just like that. Got one. Got him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, it's huge. Huge. Hey, right here. Reel him in. Reel him in. Okay. Get him in. Just reel it right there. Just reel him in. You're perfect. <laughs> yep. He's fighting hard, ain't he? Oh man. He's fighting hard. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit that like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. I got my boy out today. He's only been in one other video on my channel. My boy, Yak Pack. What's going on? If you guys wanna check out his channel, I'll leave him down below. And by the way, we got a giveaway coming up later on in this video, so you guys better stay tuned for that. But if you guys are wondering what we're doing today, we're gonna be searching for some big bass. We actually made a little short trip out here to Florida, and so we're gonna be hunting for those giants as usual. Now, let's go ahead and hop down. Let's look at our rod, see what we got, and go catch a big fish. I, uh, I, uh, no. <laughs> guys, check this out. Noah and Luz blessed me, okay? Now, watch this. I showed up. Noah said, you know what, let's link up. Let's make some videos, Yak Pack. I said, all right, let's do that. He said, I got a surprise for you, all right? Don't even try to guess, I got a surprise for you, all right? I show up and he hands me a brand new mock smash and a brand new mock two. Thank you. You're welcome, Thank man. You. You're, welcome. Was, you're, so you're welcome. You're nice. welcome. And I got, I got another two. surprise for you. It's coming soon, not today. Oh, not not right, today, right, not today. Yeah, Sometime soon. KTB special right here. So this is what I was telling you earlier. If you know, all right, so if you lay that down next to yours. Oh, they're different? Yeah, they're different. It's so, like Mach 2 Gen 1, Gen 2? No, no, yeah, yeah. So these are the, this is like the first one that came out. Wow. Um, and that is the second one. So if you look, you know, the body yeah. is obviously the, different. The handle, the um, grips. It's polymer and yeah. it's got, you know, like a gray. Then it's got the the green lose, and then it has like the little swirl. That's so it is so different sick. than That's the so old sick. one. I didn't notice that. That's so sick. Yeah. So it's pretty dope, man. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's a really great rod. I loved using those. But yeah, he's got the little old smash and a Mach 2 now. I got another surprise coming for you soon. You gotta wait for that one though. Oh, okay. And then uh, I got my Mach 2. So if you guys are wondering about the baits that we're throwing today, you guys already know I've been chucking the hybrid jig a lot. We're gonna toy around with that today. Um, I got a clout right here on just a basic ewg hook just a little texas rig weightless um i might switch that over to a fluke i'm trying to decide on that one and then tj has just a little old worm on a texas rig over I'm, there. From, I'm from florida guys you know how we do the black and blue speed worms that's just well if it's florida if you're from florida you understand <laughs> it's the only thing yeah, right it's the only thing you need all you need is some braid because look at him he's, he's got all rigged up with braid for our leaders braid but uh yeah man you ready to get back at it let's do you ready, it you ready to go i'm out excited there? i'm i'm excited ecstatic is the word to use to get out and use these rods like i've I can't even say thank you enough, but this is awesome. So let's let's go use these rods. Let's let's get it done. Go give him a subscribe, guys. Let's blow his channel up right now. Go give him a subscribe. Got a giveaway coming soon that you guys are gonna enjoy. It's awesome. Maybe even more than TJ enjoys these new rods. Ooh, Maybe. Awesome. Pay attention. Let's get into it. All right, guys. We just made it out to the pond that we're gonna be fishing today. I have a popping frog because why not? You guys know I love a popping frog, and then we have a basic fluke on this rod. So we're gonna be throwing. These are the two combos I'm throwing. Got my boy TJ. Over. Oh my god. That did not sound good. Got my boy TJ over here and uh, show him what you're throwing. Bro. Look, we got the little speed worm going on right there on the Mox Smash, the brand new Mox Smash. Look, thank you, kicking their bass TV. Thank <laughs> he you. Got, he got the beautiful setup. Oh my gosh. Beautiful setup. So, so I think it's going to be good today. We're going to start off on this place. I haven't been here in a very long time, but uh, what should I tie? What should I start? Maybe a frog, man. Maybe. Oh, this yeah. reel is insane. Is it whipping? I just barely touched it. Dude, dude, that reel. That was crazy. I just barely flipped it. Bro, I'm telling you that real some sauce, TJ. You'll love it. I want to cast this frog along this bank. You're going around these pads. There's a bunch of turtles, man. This is literally the only body of water in Florida that's not. Have a dang six pounder come up and eat it first cast. Wouldn't that be amazing? Looks like some fry busting under me. So yeah, guys, we're gonna start off with the popping frog. You guys know I just I, I love frog fishing. It's hard for me not to throw a frog. So we're gonna start off with this today. We're gonna be fishing some of the grass along the banks. Maybe some of the pads. I thought you just got hit. That scared me. We're going to see if we can get one to come up on a frog. If we can't, you know, we're going to switch over to the fluke. Throw that around a good bit. I think that's going to be killer. We actually came to this pond a couple months ago and they were bedding. Um, so I'm curious to see if there's any more pushed up. So I guess we're going to find out. We're going to cast this frog around. We're going to fan cast a good bit and get it rolling. All right. I'm going to try the fluke. Woo! Baby. Oh, baby. Make sure you check your drag. Oh, yeah. I did. 
braid cast so smooth. You got one? Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. TJ with the first fish. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. No. Did he break you? No. That was a decent. That was what, like a two and a half pounder? Yeah. That was a decent little fish. Well, TJ got the first blood fairly quick. That's a good little sign. Freak me out. Jeez, dude. Bro, that's actually a... Not a bad one. I thought she was a lot better. There you go, bro. First hey, bud. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad, guys. A little two-pounder to start off the day. I thought she was a lot bigger. I wasn't paying attention. That was a beautiful little fish. Get her right back in. That was on the fluke. I got a freaking goose hissing at me right behind me. That's a pretty little fish. Solid little two pounder. Give her a little toss. Ooh. All right, and get back in there. Dude. I just caught a freaking turtle. I just caught a turtle on a fluke, bro. Oh, he came off. I've never in my life seen anything like that. <laughs> and a bunch of geese down here. That was crazy. That's how a turtle hooked. That's funny. Golly. Nah, he ain't big. Came up, ate it like a top water. Second fish, little guy. Just I little... mean, if you want to get technical, we're two for two. <laughs> well, we got two bass and a turtle, and uh, TJ ha had two bass. I, I don't know what happened with that, but pretty little fish, just a little one pounder. Oh my god, why'd you do that, you little twinkie? That is our second fish today. I'm throwing this little fluke right here weightless you guys know I, I really enjoy throwing flukes you know i think it's a great way of catching a lot of fish and uh you know i do it quite often this is actually not the standard like zoom super fluke that i normally use it's like a i don't know what it is to be honest with you i'm not the biggest fan of it i don't know it's catching the fish though caught two fish today if you guys are wondering how i'm working it throwing it out there letting it hit kind of popping it and i'm keeping this fluke this one's not really sinking as quick as a normal zoom fluke, super fluke so i'm kind of keeping it at the top of the water and popping in those fish are coming up and eating it pretty good so we're gonna keep on covering some water hopefully we'll find some big ones i was hoping to find some on bed i don't know if that's gonna happen but golly this braid keeps messing me up all right you see your right the little open patch it's two grass patches oh yeah yeah go pitch on that don't walk all the way up on it but walk as far as you can Something big. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Let's go. First fish. Got one. Yo, double up. Let's go. I watched that fluke just disappear. I never saw him eat it. That is awesome, dude. Oh yeah, we gotta get a double picture. Dude, that's awesome, two fatties. Well guys, right there, just got mine, it's about a pound and a half, it's about around. I think yours is probably a little bigger, yeah, yours is a little thicker. Yeah, mine's about a quarter pound bigger. That's awesome though, first double up. We are on them pretty good, nothing giant yet, but you know what, we're getting some decent fish, so let's fish bump it, man. Bow, a little fish bump, you wanna get an Instagram story? Ooh, fish bump, baby, let's go. Bow, Bow. yup. Yeah. All right guys, we're gonna get this baby right back in the water, beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, I oh. thought she was gonna kick All off right. hard. Pretty good. 
Literally, just like you called it. Dope. You called it. You said <laughs> in that corner between those grass patches, it hit the water and she ate it. You gotta love it. Here, I never saw him eat it though. It just disappeared. I was like, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, we got a third apple. There we go. There we go. There we go. That is a uh, that's a good one right there. That is a good one. Nice catch. Probably the best one of the day for me. Awesome little fish. Little chunky dude, two two and a half pounder. Let's get you out of the weeds. There you go. I ain't looking for that. I'm looking for that quick. The ones that were ready to eat like that. Dude, what? You got a double up? Is yours big? Oh, yo, that's a good fish. Look at the colors on that bass, dude. Let me tell you, both those boils were so big and they were on the same patch. Is that not crazy? Look at that. Yo, that's a really pretty fish. That's a, yeah, that's nice. That was, what's up with those doubling up like right away? That's funny. That was instant too. Double boys. He got his on a worm, I got mine on a fluke. That's freaking fun. Little, little bow, little fish bump. Both little chunky guys. Yeah, that's they're they're healthy fish, that's for sure. Nice little bass. Came right out of the same lily pad patch. That's interesting. There might be another one on that. All right, guys, we had to come back to the place. This is exactly where we caught the seven pounder on the first cast. So I'm excited about it. We got the stroker crawl on a Texas rig, and then I have the divine swim jig on this rod. So we brought two combos out of moving bait, a slow moving bait. I think this is gonna be good. Let's go ahead and start. I think I'm gonna start out with the swim jig just because I usually start off with my moving baits um, and then I work down. So pretty much if I have a top water, I'd start out with the top water and then I'd move to like a chatter bait or a swim jig or whatever it is. And then I'd move to a bottom bait. See what I'm saying? You cover the water column. So I like to start off with the moving bait just so I can cover some water, get a feel on the area, see if they're gonna end up biting. If we don't end up getting bites, that's when we'll slow down. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started. We'll start casting the swim jig. This is actually exactly where I caught, oh my God. Someone fishing right there? There's a bobber right there. Can't tell if there's a rod in the water. <laughs> God, that was weird. All right, well, we'll end up casting around the swim jig a good bit. Let's see if we can get a bite. And uh, like I said, if we don't get anything, we're gonna slow down to that curl and uh, see if we can pick one off. All right, we're gonna switch up to the old stroker crawl. Like I said, we just cast around that swim jig we fan casted. Didn't have any bites, so now let's slow down and see if we can catch one. Uh oh, there he is. Yep, he's running at me. Not a bad one, not big. First fish, golly, there we go. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Ooh, a little two pounder. There we go. About a pound and a half. He ain't quite two. He's really thick and chunky. I promise you that fish was on a bed right there. The way that he bit too. If you look at his eye right here, he's got like a little, I don't know what that is, on the edge of his eye, or right on the edge of his eye. I don't even know what I just said there. That's a pretty fish. First one today on the stroker crawl, she smoked that thing. That was literally, what, was that my first cast? That was my first cast with the stroker. You might want something slower today. We fan casted that swim jig. They wouldn't eat that. Do that prawn or the stroker crawl right in there. First cast, boom, pretty fish. Get her right back in the water. Beautiful little chunky guy. I know there's some bigger ones over there. There might be a female. If this fish was on bed, there's probably a female over there with him. There you go, bud. There he goes. Beautiful. Ooh, look at him take off. Awesome. That is awesome right there. First fish today, and it was on a stroker crawl. Want to get us a new one out, brand new. That was my first cast with it, which is a great sign. That's what I was just talking about, guys. You know, you have your moving bait, you cover a little bit of water, but that doesn't mean that a fish is going to bite it every single time. So that's why you always, you know, should carry. I don't do it much. I like to cover a lot of water, and I just, you know, cast, 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 cast with a moving bait. 
But I'm telling you, if you bring a moving bait and a slow moving bait, and you really kind of switch up and figure out what those fish want, that's when you're going to catch a lot of fish. If you're working a little bit slower and you're really breaking down the water column then, because like I said, not every single fish is going to be aggressive and go after a moving bait. So, and we just proved that concept right there. Let's keep on casting. I want to cast in that same spot and see if there's a female right there. I thought she had me right away. Oh, she does. Oh my God, guys. The way she just hit that. I don't, I don't know. I, I want to say it bit like a bluegill, but like I said, when these fish are on bed, they bite weird. Holy cow, this stroker crawl might kill it today. That was crazy. It was like a little shotgun attack on my bait. It was like boom, 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 boom. And like I said, usually that's like a little bluegill or something smaller pecking at it. But this time of year with the fish bedding, I'm telling you, man, that, that could be a really big fish. You just don't know. He ate it as I was reeling it. It's not a big one, but that's like a two and a half pounder. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a good little fish. I really, I literally started reeling the stroker crawl and he ate it. Awesome. Look at that. That's a chunky fish. Gosh, that's a beautiful one right there. Look at that right in the top of his mouth. I just started reeling it and he just ate it. I thought it was a really big one when I hooked set. Started like pulling me right away. That's a beautiful little fish. Perfect little sign for today. Pretty fish. Get her right back in the water so she can swim another day. There she goes wow that was such a cool bite welcome to the giveaway portion of today's video i got a handful of baits i'm going to be giving away today by the way the last winner of the last giveaway i'll pop your name up on the screen right now all you have to do is dm me on my personal instagram page at noah pescatelli and i'll get the prize out to you so for today's giveaway let me show you guys what we got all right so we have a six cents crush mini 25 md we got a swank 77x we got a pack of these Zoom Green Pumpkin Orange Big Critter Crawls. And then we got a Crush 250 MD. These are all by Six Cents right here, these three. They're actually still in the packaging and everything, brand spanking new. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button on this video. And one last step, go subscribe to my boy, Yak Pack. I'll leave his link down below. And that's all you gotta do. You're entered to the giveaway. But thank you guys so much for the support. We're gonna hop right back into this one. Let's get it. All right, guys. So that is the second fish today. It was about two and a half. And I was reeling. I was reeling the crawl back in and he hammered it right when I hook set he just started running I thought I had a really big one I thought I had the female off that bed but <laughs> it's still a quality fish and that's kind of crazy to think about because you know we just casted the swim jig in there and I was just talking about how you know we haven't had any bites on the swim jig they didn't really want anything moving yet I started reeling the stroker crawl and we got a bite so it's like it's kind of crazy because at the same time both those baits are very finesse um, that swim jig right there is not like a chatter bait you know you don't have a big blade on it that's vibrating putting off too much vibration but uh you know he wanted that crawl reeling it in or he could have just been looking down at the crawl and i started to reel it in and that triggered him off the biting it so we're gonna keep on casting but uh i really think the stroker crawl is gonna be the golden ticket for today <sighs> guys i'm so mad i didn't get this on camera <laughs> I just looked down. I was about to throw the fish in the water. I realized my camera wasn't even on. Just caught another pretty little fish. He's about a pound. Freaking fatties. Gotta love it. All right, just came to another side. We're about to cover some water with this prawn. I came here the last time I was at this place and I didn't have any bites, not even one. But what I will say is I was throwing a chatter donkey. You know, I was throwing a moving bait. This time, you know, we're slowing down, throwing a little soft plastic. So we might end up having a lot better luck this time we're just gonna have to slow down kind of cover some water that's the biggest thing today is i gotta slow down and it's sometimes hard for me to do that so if i just slowed down here and, and broke down this water i know we'll end up catching a few really good fish Oh no. All right. That's my first bite in a minute. All right, I want you guys to pay attention to what I just did there. 
My first cast was just like this, okay? Parallel with the bank. Okay, I worked that cast all the way in. So I was like, all right, the fish aren't on the bank. Then I threw another cast that was about right there, about 15 foot off the bank. I worked that all the way in, no bites. Then I reeled my cast back in and I beamed another cast about 20 foot off the bank. And now I worked that all the way in, I have my bite. So now with that information being said, you know, right now I was saying a bunch of the fish are bedding, which is true. But back on this side of the pond, I think it sets up a lot different than the other side. And the reason I cast it right there, right there, and right there is to figure out where those fish are positioned off the bank. That is very important. So, you know, right when I threw off about 20 foot, that's when I had the bite. He didn't bite it when I was up here. He only bit it when I threw it off 20 foot and I am hung on something. What in the world? It's like a rock or something. But that's something very important to keep in mind is, you know, figuring out where the fish are off the bank. There we go, I got it. Messed up my crawl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, huge. 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 All right. Come on, baby. I know you're like a five pounder. Oh my god. She might be bigger. Oh my god. <laughs> She's barely hooked too. Look at that big bass. Oh my god. Look at that fish. <laughs> Look how barely she's hooked too. She barely hooked in the corner of her mouth. Look at that, barely hooked. Thank God she stayed on because she was a little ha happy one too, jumping around. Heck yeah, finally hooked a big one today. And that is a freaking good fish right there. We're gonna get that baby right back in the water. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that is a big one. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you so much. Oh, let's go guys. Let's freaking go. That is a big bass that we got on the stroker curl. That was good to see right there. So back to what I was saying about when I came here before, you know, I was throwing a moving bait. I didn't get the job done. Now we came back with a slow moving bait. Boom, got a bite right there. That is perfect. That was a big one. She was right over there. She was right off that grass patch. I'm gonna be honest with you. It wasn't even a good cast. Like I was just kind of beaming one over there cause I was about to walk in that corner to throw actually right on that grass and sure enough she grabbed it right away that is crazy she barely had it but we caught her oh oh my god a small one i knew there should have been a fish there cool really small one <laughs> look at that that is not even worth talking about tiny guy should have been a fish right here though there might be another one bigger one all right guys we're coming out to a new spot <laughs> i met like a little a little kid and i gave him one of the little stroker crawls and he wants to go fishing he lives like two doors down i told him i was like yeah he's like can you come fishing by my house i was like yeah so that's kind of funny All right, I'll come over. Was it? No, I haven't caught, or actually I have caught a turtle. Uh, I don't have a picture of it, sadly. Really? Have you ever caught a fish back out here? Big one. Yeah. Do you have a boat that you could like? No. Well, I do. It's at my house. It's a big boat though. You can't put it in here. What? What? Look. A mosquito. Mosquito. All right. So if I hook one, if I hook one, I'm gonna give you my rod, and you can fight them in. Second. Do you Do you know how to reel? Oh so yeah. Look. I, I know how to reel and toss. So cross. you just. Yeah, I know. I I hold it like this and then slam. Yeah. It down there. Let's see if I. Let me let me see if I I can hook one. I'll, I'll give I'll hand the rod to you. You can try to reel them in. Okay. You do it nice and slow. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so they, do, so you don't scare off the fishy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh! Did you see that? <laughs> you got me in the drain, Doctor. Yeah, <laughs> it was right in the drain. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, wasn't it? Man. Oh. oh, I get that. Maybe Have there's. You, you see that little, like little trees and stuff. The fish that hang up on the trees. You see like that little. See the little tree down there on the bank? Sometimes a fish will like sit up under it. There might be a fish on that right there. See how there's like grass right here too? Mm -hmm. The fish like to get up like under that because it protects them, you know, from the sun. <laughs> oh, here, okay. Yeah, it fell off. You got it? Be careful. Hey, have you ever took a picture of a, of a, hum of a humongous fish? Yeah, I got a few I can show you. Oh my. You by the way. Oh, there he is. Here, 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 right here. Reel him in. Reel him in. Okay. Okay, man. Just reel it right there. Just reel him in. You're perfect. <laughs> yep. He's fighting hard, ain't he? Oh, man. He's fighting hard. <laughs> you got here. All right, right there. I right, just got to lift him up. There you go. Here, be, be careful because there's a hook still in him. Hold on. Let me get the hook out. So the hook's in his lip. Oh. Yeah, you can touch him. He won't, do, he won't hurt you. But is look. he alive? Yeah, yeah, he's alive. His see, mouth see his fin. Disgusting. See his fins and. Is this how they, how he moves? A large mouth. You hold him by. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, he jumped large in. Mouth, how do you hold him? Yeah, you hold him by the mouth. You caught that one. That was fun, wasn't it? Just like that. How in the world did he bite? How in the world did you get him? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he bit it good. Him. You hold the reel and then. So, so put this hand, you see this little slot? So you put your finger there, yeah? And then you just reel. There you go. I got one, I got one. You have to go inside before you lose the dirt.